Welcome to today's Living Word with Pastor Arlene. Thank you for joining us today. Let's look again at John chapter 14 and verse 27. Peace I leave with you. So Jesus gave us his peace, the fruit of the Spirit. It's a gift. My peace I give unto you, not as the world gives. So he gives it, but he, the world gives us things, but we have to work for it. We have to do something to get it. Jesus gave us his peace. We do not have to work for it. It is a free gift. It's in our spirit. Not as the world gives, give I unto you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You see, we have to understand the difference between the world's peace and God's peace. The world thinks peace is when you have zero problems, zero things coming against you. Mental peace. Because there's no problems. In this life, we will come through problems. There will be temptations, tests, trials, etc. But the peace that we get from Jesus is not dependent on our circumstances. It is totally dependent on the finished works of Jesus and what he has done for us. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And what he gave Adam and Eve in the garden, we have. And we also have that authority. But our first place of authority is take authority over our minds and make a decision on what we're going to think and allow. God's peace is not dependent on circumstances. It's dependent on what Jesus has already done for us. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He will not change. He will not take it back. It is by grace that he has given you that peace. But you have to respond to that grace by faith, believing that you have it. We can have great peace in the midst of all kinds of problems because our deliverance, our eternal life, our current fellowship, our current state of being rests in Jesus, not in circumstances. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you.